Hello, great people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The Abia State government had sent out um, instructions that uh, students who are currently writing WASC can go ahead with the exam, despite the fact that there have been multiple rumors that there will be a seat at home on Monday. And he, the, the fears of the government has finally come to pass as um, UGM has stepped into the school, particular school, to do this. You're going to hear full details of this in a GFA. At the same time, IPOB had also sent a very strong warning to the government of Nigeria and also to that of uh, Cameroon concerning the push for self-determination for IPOB and Ambazonian. And they have also sent word down to EU and also to um, African Union and all other eligible organizations organization to come up to help out, especially considering the fact that they are not violating any law, but they are only pushing for self-determination. You're going to hear all of these in a jiffy. But before we give you full details of this news, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, UGM have uh, invaded a comprehensive secondary school, Nkume, in Ajaba, local government area of Imo State, following the declaration of sit at home order by indigenous people of Biafra Ipo. The UGM reportedly entered the school premises when some students were participating in the ongoing 2021 West African School Certificate Examination was and stopped the exercise. Details of the incident is still sketchy as of the time that we're reporting, but it was learned that five UGM destroyed some properties during the attack. The most state government police, oh, sorry, the most state police public relations officer, CSP Mike, Abatam could not talk, take his calls, and was unable to respond to texts forwarded to him. Recall that IPOB had ordered that the region must observe sit at home every Monday in solidarity for its leader, Mazinam Dikanu, who has been in the custody of the Department of State Services. Meanwhile, in another development, the indigenous people of Biafra says the Nigerian government and its Cameroonian counterpart met recently to plan ways to attack its members and the Ambazonian agitators in Cameroon. Ibob alleged that the President Muhammadu Buhari government derives happiness in shedding the blood of innocent Nigerian people and that they fas facilitated the meeting with the Paul Bia led government in Cameroon while hiding under the claim it was for security and border control. The group, however, stated that there would not be peace in the sub-Saharan region of Africa until Biafra and Ambazonia agitators in Nigeria and Cameroon respectively get their sovereign nation. The pro Biafra group spokesman, a more powerful, disclosed these in a statement obtained on Sunday. In a statement titled, Nigeria and Cameroon G3 over agreement between Biafra and Ambazonia. The Namdi Kanu led group called on the international community to hold the government of the two nations responsible for any attack on their members. It also called on the European Union and other organizations to guarantee free to guarantee referendum for the group to break away from their mother nation. In the statement release, it read does the global movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, every ably led by our great leader Mazinam Bikanu, is a way of the security and border meeting in Abuja between the two countries, Nigeria and Cameroon. We know that both countries enjoy the spilling of blood of the innocent people by both government. The meeting in Abuja between both countries shows the fear of the agreement between Biafra and Ambazonia. The agreement between the two emerging nations has become a nightmare for Nigeria and Cameroon, but unfortunately, there is nothing they can do to stop their emergence. 
Biafra was able to survive the 1967-1970 civil war and genocide by Nigeria supported by Cameroon, West African countries like Ghana and its security agent. We shall also triumph over whatever plot they had against us now. Biafra and Bazonia have been divinely ordained to come and they are at the threshold. No antics of Nigeria and her partner in crime can stop Biafra and Ambazonia actualization. The Nigerian president, Muhammadu Buhari, and Paul Bia of Cameroon should be held responsible for whatever happened to Biafra and the good people of Ambazonia and Biafra. We are also calling on world leaders and international communities, especially America, Israel, European Union, and civilized nations across the globe to prevail on Nigeria and Cameroon to allow Biafra and Bazonia to conduct their referendum to decide their fate. The independence of Biafra and Ambazonia and Biafra are the only thing that can guarantee peace in the Gulf of Guinea and the African sub-region because they are the countries that can guarantee peace in the region. We sign memorandum of understanding for collaboration in our struggle for independence. We shall continue to work together as brothers and the oppressors understand our resolve to, to synergize, hence their morbid fear and anxiety. The agreement and memorandum of understanding has come to stay and nothing can change. Wow, this is very serious. I, I didn't think for once that uh, um, a school will also be a target. You know, this particular day, I public leadership came out and they said no more. Uh, sit at home again, at least for the economic uh, activities in South East to go on. But IPOP supporters and members are still hell bent. They are serious that that this day, called Monday in South East, must be a sit at home. Everybody must obey. And uh, you know, the reason why the people are not really giving in is that there is no sufficient protection for them. It may not happen today here. And these guys, they don't even tell where they're going to hit next time. All of a sudden, you just see that a particular place, this is happening. And, you know, the catchment area is so big that you can't find security officers everywhere. You understand? You can't find even the security officers. They're also protecting themselves. Because if you do anyhow, you'll see anyhow. You can appear somewhere and all of a sudden, these guys can just come and brush you and... You know, you're a human being. Life may be taken in the process. So right now, I, I think it's going to be a case of understanding. Don't also forget in the other news that we just listened to, that they have promised that the boundaries of Nigeria, Nigeria as a country, and also Cameroon, will enjoy nothing like peace, except they give to them um, what they want, which is a referendum for the people of the area to vote so that from there we can finally decide uh, whether truly everybody needs self-determination or not. But shockingly, um, the government is uh, not also ready, and they're fighting them with everything they've got. Uh, and uh, every day we keep seeing these things happening, you know. I think that uh, there should be a living playing ground for now. An understanding needs to be entered. If not, um, I'm, I'm afraid to say South East may turn out to be like uh, the northern part of Nigeria, where most people will have to run away from there. Right now, a lot of people are finding the environment very uncomfortable to stay in. Why? Because of this disagreement between IPOP and the South East leadership, South East government. So I think that there should be a meeting. I was really expecting that the South East leaders were going to present this thing during the visit of uh, Buhari. But shockingly, it, it didn't happen. You know, it would have been one issue that they would have come up with and said, sir, based on the economic activities in this place, I think that you should do this or do this or possibly release their leader. You know, let him go so that there will be peace. At least people can start smiling again because I think the whole thing revolves around the detention of Mazinamdikano. It's quite a serious issue. Just go to our comment section. Let's interact. Do you think that uh, disrupting the children, you know, exam was good enough? Is a good reason? Uh, do you think that they are going overboard? Uh, another thing I want to look at is the issue of control. You know, the leadership said they've cancelled it, but some other person who I feel that only staying under the cover of IPUP are still 
ensuring that there are issues happening? Do you think that this can be called off? Let's interrogate in our conversation.